I wish I had the ability to just run around a huge city when I was in college. Which I probably did, I just decided to study instead of doing fun things. Hello once again watchers of Good Movies, my name is Nick Pell and this is once again coming from my apartment. Now today we are going to be talking about the film Mistress America. This is a smaller film about two would-be sisters, their parents are getting married, so they both live in New York. One is in college, one is in her 30s and has a life, and it's about them connecting and becoming sisters in a sense. Lola Kirky is the first person that we're introduced to. She's an 18-year-old college student just starting at a school in New York, and she doesn't really fit in anywhere, and this is really emphasized at the beginning of the film. She has this one friend that she makes but just doesn't really work out, and so she knows that her mom is marrying this guy, and this guy has a daughter who is also in New York, so she decides to call her. And this is where we're introduced to Greta Gerwig. Tracy as a character I did really like. She's she's awkward and she's cute and she's just kind of this 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 college kid who doesn't really know where she belongs and is trying to just fit in anywhere that will take her. She's a writer, so maybe that's why I kind of emphasized with her a little bit. But I really did enjoy the character of Tracy. I thought it was really fun. The character of Brooke, though, played by Greta Gerwig, I was a little bit on the fence with her for a lot of the film because at the beginning she kind of seems very selfish. She seems very self-centered and it's like, oh, I'm only going to care about myself. You can kind of tag along because you're my baby sister technically and so I'll let you do that. And then there are other times where she, where she seems very sincere and she opens up and she's an actual human being and I did enjoy her character. So a lot of the time throughout this film I was very back and forth about this character and um, I did ultimately kind of find her very interesting because of that, because we see two different sides of her personality. And what this film is ultimately kind of built on is the chemistry between these two people. We have Brooke, who's trying to essentially get money to build a restaurant and to create a restaurant, and so that's what a large amount of the film kind of works around, is her trying to meet this goal that she has for herself. Tracy, I don't know how she's just able to go hang out with her sister all the time in New York. It never seems like she's in class, which is really weird for college. Uh, she's probably failing like everything. But I thought their chemistry worked really well. I thought the two actresses did really well too. Like, the film itself is very simple, so it's kind of hard to talk about. Um, the, the plot moves very well. It has really good pacing. We're not really stuck anywhere for too terribly long of a time. Um, there's a lot of good jokes. There are some that fall flat, but that's with any type of movie like this. And overall, I did really enjoy Mistress America. It's just simply an enjoyable movie. It's kind of tough to say exactly why, but I just I found myself really enjoying the characters, their interactions, and one thing that the film does do, it's not exactly its fault, it's the trailer maker's fault, but the trailer does show a good chunk of the film within the trailer. Um, it doesn't exactly give you plot lines, but it does show you content, so there was just kind of a lot of that that I did notice after watching the movie. And then just something really quick that I noticed actually while I was editing this review with the character of Tracy. As I said earlier in the review, she has a very tough time kind of fitting in to her call. So once she kind of finds this this safe place within the grasp of her sister, she finds someone who accepts her for who she is she, and will just associate with her and hang out with her and somewhere that she can go and feel comfortable. You see her kind of consistently go back and want to spend as much time with this person as possible and so I think this idea of loneliness and trying to fit in and find a spot that fits that where you can fit in, that is kind of a big central message of the film because you do consistently see Tracy going back to her sister even after a big fight that happens um, at some point in the film. Um, you do just kind of see this kind of necessity to kind of find this place where she belongs and consistently keep going back to that situation. And it's this place where she feels safe and it's, it's kind of an interesting thing that I kind of just, I just kind of thought of while I was watching my review of the movie. Um, it's just something that I kind of picked up and I found it to be kind of an interesting aspect. I don't know if it was the intention of the filmmakers at all to kind of have that be kind of a point, but just seeing how 
how lonely and isolated Tracy is at the beginning of this film compared to just how much time she ends up spending with Brooke throughout the course of the film is just kind of something that you can't really help but notice. But overall, Mistress America, it kept me entertained for the whole hour and 20 minutes that it runs, and so this is a very quick movie. It's a very fun movie. I enjoyed the actresses. I thought all the performances were really well done, really good, really sincere, believable, and I just had a good time with this film. It was very fun, heartfelt, and whatnot. I'd definitely check this out in the theaters if it's near you at all. And let me know, did you like the film as much as I did? Did you hate it more than I did? Let me know. Like, fair comment, and subscribe. Once again, if you so choose, I appreciate it immensely. And then really quick, guys, I just wanted to throw out there that me and James Asantes, we did a kind of prediction video. We talked about what our top three games of the year are so far, and then what we could possibly see take over that title um, with the games that are coming out in the next couple months. So that video link will be down here in the description somewhere, so check that out. It was a lot of fun to do with him. It's only like 10 minutes or so, I think. Uh, so check that out if you're interested. And as well as people, my name is Nick Powell. And once again, keep on watching.